Hey, what's happening? Fit Dad Chris here. Today, I'm working on this wireless Black & Decker weed whacker. I got my kids over here. Ryder's mowing the lawn. Marvel's just causing trouble. But essentially, if you have one of these Black & Decker uh, battery-operated uh, weed whackers, they're pretty good. My issue was, every time you'd go to click the... Um, every time you go to, to turn it on, it wasn't turning on. I had to, like, hit it, right? So... Basically what happens is there's these two little, I guess, uh, switches in here, right? So you see this little red button here? It's got to push in, right? So, oh boy. So what happened was basically this thing wasn't doing it well enough, right? So what I did was, you see those little holes? I basically, I basically cut, dremeled those out so they would give me more room. Uh, and it seems to work. You just got to give it a good squeeze and you'll actually hear a click. But after I did that and cleaned it all up, um, everything's working good. So I thought I was going to have to toss this thing, but I'm glad it was something silly. But uh, yeah, make sure you take a before and after picture because there's a lot of moving parts that like to pop out on here. But otherwise, it's uh, good. Hope it helps someone. Oh, and there's also another one for this part too, in case you didn't see. But this one seems to be working. That's for the weed, uh, the trim line.